In the last video, we learned how to install and create an Avalonia app on a Windows machine. Today, we'll learn how to do the same on macOS. First, we check the Mac's processor chip type. In this case, it's Intel. Then, download the latest version of the .NET SDK. The website detects the Intel chip and displays the appropriate download button. In some cases, it may also show a button for the Apple chip, in which case, select based on the chip type. Click to download. Once the download is complete, click to install the SDK. After installation, verify it. Open terminal and run the command.net. List SDKs to display the installed SDKs. The The SDK should be listed here. Next, we need to install the Avalonia template. Use the command.net new install Avalonia templates. Once the template is installed, verify it. Next, download and install VS Code for editing the code. After opening VS Code, we need to install some extensions for Avalonia development. Search for Avalonia in the Extensions Marketplace. Then install the Avalonia extension for VS Code. Next, search for C Sharp and install the C Sharp extension. After completing the installation, also install the C-Sharp Dev Kit. Now we're going to create our first Avalonia app. Open the terminal again. First, I'll create a directory to store my Avalonia projects and change to that directory. Then, run the command to create a new project. We'll create an Avalonia app named First Step.
the app is now created. A new folder is created for our app, along with some default files and folders, which we will explain later. Another way to create an Avalonia project in VS Code is available, but for now, we recommend using the terminal. Next, we open our new project folder in VS Code. All the created files and folders are displayed here. Then, we open mainwindow.axamal to design the project. We will design inside the window tag. The text, Welcome to Avalonia, is displayed in the first window. Click the preview button to display the preview. When we click the preview button, a message prompts us to build the project first. Click the Build button. After building the project, the preview is displayed. We then make a change to this text, and the change is reflected in the preview. Now we will create a new simple project. Don't worry about the coding details, we will explain that in later videos. This is just to introduce you to Avalonia's functionality. The link to the code files will be available in the description. First, we remove the default text and add a grid for alignment. Then we add a stack panel. Followed by a text block with a border. Next, we add a button that includes a click handler to demonstrate how to integrate C-sharp code into our project. In the preview, all controls are displayed. Now, open the .cs file to write the action code for the button click. We need to create a function called ClickMeHandler. Make sure to use Avalonia.Interactivity. Finally, we run the application using the command.NET run. The application runs successfully and works perfectly. Thank you for watching.